Now I'm going to continue explaining the solutions with the problem C. In this problem, we are given a string and we can perform two operations. In the first operation, we can choose a position and append the reverse of string from the position two up to that position to the front of the string. And uh, the same operation, but at the end of the string, like appending a certain substring at the end of the S, but reversed, obviously. Please take note that uh, after each operation, the length of the string is going to change. So you can do something like append a substring and then appending the entire substring except for like few letters. And the N will increase. And here we are given an example, which makes uh, it more clear to understand. And we have to make the string palindrome by applying any of the operations at most 30 times. And uh, the length of the string is 3. And uh, there can be proven that uh, there is always a solution. And obviously, uh, we can't uh, make the string too big because there is a thing called memory limit and we can't really read strings which are too big and we obviously have to make it a palindrome with the most 30 operation now the first thing one uh, would come up with in order to solve this problem is trying to see if there is some uh, pattern which helps us solve the problem in as few operations as possible and the reason why I'm saying this is because um, for such constructive problems, it can be quite easy to prove that uh, you can find a solution with uh, few operations. And there are multiple examples of constructive problems where this pattern works. And uh, in order to find uh, this pattern, there are plenty of uh, ways to do it. For example, you can actually write a brute force program with a small uh, string, which has like all the letters being distinct, so that you don't have any bias related to strings which have uh, letters identical on certain positions. And uh, by ensuring that the string is small, you can actually do a brute force program to find the uh, those variants which work. And uh, one of the solutions which works in three operations is something like this. I'm going to write it on the sketchpad. So the first operation is going to be L and 2. The second operation is going to be R and 2. And the third operation is going to be R and 2 times N minus 1. Where again, this N is the initial N. And then as we increase the length of the string, this is obviously going to be closer to the real length of the string. So let's assume we have a string full of distinct letters. I'm going to make it small enough, but again, this pattern works for every single string. And I'm going to explain this visually because it's easiest way to understand it. So let's say we have a string A, B, C, D, E, F. Again, a string with all distinct letters because we don't want to have biases. Now, L2 is going to append the letter B to the front of the string. B, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, the second operation is going to append all the letters from position 2 to the end of the string. So we are going to have B, a, B, C, D, E, F. But again, these letters will be reversed. F, E, D, D, B, A. And now we are left with only uh, one letter to reverse. Namely, uh, the position 2 times n minus 1, which is B. And we are going to have the same string. B, A, B. And as you can see, the string is palindrome because we can split it in the middle and we have two opposite strings. 
and uh, we only do three operations and the maximum length of the string is two times n which is far below the threshold of one million and all we have to do in the implementation is just to write these three lines after reading the string obviously as i said earlier thank you for watching and i'm waiting for you guys to watch the tutorial for problem d